hello and welcome to my channel this is isaac kindly remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can be able to see more of my videos leo nataka tuongelelee kuhusu dawa tunaitaga pep now pep ni nini pep uh, in full ni post exposure prophylaxis post exposure prophylaxis ni dawa ambayo une, wakati ume jengage in a risk wewe ni HIV positive am um, HIV, not HIV positive sorry HIV negative ama haujui status yako na umelala na mtu ambaye haujui HIV status yake so unafaa kutembelea kituo cha afya uweze kupewa dawa ya kuzuia ili usipate virusi in case mwenye umelala na yeye ambaye hujui status yake ako HIV positive now pep hii dawa ni dawa ingine maridadi sana na it's very effective inafanya kazi kwa watu wengi imefanyikia imetumika ime na watu wengi na imewasaidia uh, hawakupata virusi za HIV now hii dawa uh, nini tunafaa kufanya ili tuweze kupata hii dawa ya pep kitu ya kwanza ili uweze kupewa dawa ya pep unafaa kitu ya kwanza kupimwa HIV status yako kwa nini upimwe HIV status yako kwa sababu wakati tunatumia dawa ya ARV na in case mimi tuseme ilikuwa positive na huko umepimwa and then unaenda kumekimbia kwa chemist ndio hiyo hiyo umeorganizewa na ukapata pep huko umepimwa HIV status in case uko HIV positive umeza hii dawa hii dawa tunamezaka for only 28 days so umeza hii pep yako 28 days umalize haujapimwa status yako even after umemaliza dose so what will happen kama ulikuwa na virusi zitakufanya kitu tunaitaka mutation mutation tu, inako, tunakuwa na positive mutation na negative mutation now the positive mutation ni ile inafanyaga dawa ikue more effective negative mutation ni ile inaleta dawa the inactive against your virus na mostly virusi sana sana huaga zina take advantage of this negative mutation so kumaanisha we wakati utapimwa tena udhibitishio uambiwe uko na virusi hii dawa ya first line ambayo ndio umepewa ulipewa kama pep haitakuwa ikifanya kazi kwa mwili wako kwa sababu tayari umepata mutation ya virusi ambazo hazisikizani na hii dawa ya first line tunaelewana mpaka hapo so that's the main reason why unafaa kuenda kitu ya kwanza ukisema umeendea pep umeelana na mtu ambaye hujui status yake ama mtu una, unajua ako positive na ushalana naye na mimi haukutumia kondomu ama ulitumia kondomu ikapasuka na huku unajua adherence yake kitu ya kwanza pimwa HIV status so the second thing kitu ya pili wakati umeshapimwa HIV status daktari anafaa kukuuliza uliengage na risk saa ngapi usually effectiveness ya pep inafanyikaga within 72 hours from the time of exposure within 72 hours so usually ukishapitisha 72 hours chances ya success rate ya hii pep yetu haitakuwa optimal so that's the reason why within 72 hours tutakupatia pep after 72 hours tunaweza kuambia wewe kojea baada ya mwezi moja tupime tena kwa sababu sasa at least tayari usha compromise ile the the optimal point ya hii dawa kufanya kazi so what do you do within 72 hours you can get in a risk ambayo inaweza kupatia hiv and aids hiv hiv virus kitu ya kwanza within 72 hours end up pima hiv status kitu ya pili immediately chukua dawa inaitwa pep usually kwa hospitali za serikali pep inakuwa ni ni first line ya arv yenye tutumia first kama first line treatment ya, 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 ya HIV usually utapewa hiyo dosi ya 28 days ama 30 days enda meza hiyo na utapewa tembe moja kila siku kwa siku 28 ama siku 30 meza hiyo dawa bila kuacha same time set alarm usually that's what i, I really encourage set an alarm so that you don't forget on the time of taking your your meds Meza hiyo dawa consistently for the next 28 days after umepimwa na ukadhibitishiwa kwamba wewe uko HIV negative. So, after umemaliza 28 days ama 30 days, kitu ya pili utakuja kupimwa tena. 
after umepimwa tena sasa unadhibitishiwa uko negative then unaweza fanya retesting after three months or after six months kudhibitisha kuhakikisha kabisa kabisa the, the, the drug worked and your hiv negative sawa sawa that's it uh, thank you for watching this channel kindly remember to subscribe it's isaac puma health solutions i love you don't forget to subscribe thank you